Hey, Scott. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Very good, how are you? I'm all right, I've just realized how dark it makes my room. No, I like it. I, I am digging your Star Wars t-shirt and I like those, you have a good gradient in your in vignetting. <laughs> Director approved, I like that, yeah. it's very good. <laughs> um, before I ask you about the movie, I wanted to, I wanted to ask you a, a personal question, if I may. I've Please. looked at your Instagram and looked that you were selling your VHS collection last year. So did you find a good home for all those amazing titles? That you yeah, I mean, we actually were just, gi I think we were just giving it away. I don't, um, I don't think we, yeah, no, ugh, man, I kind of, we have regrets, I have to say. Um, maybe we shouldn't have done it. But it was one of those things where we had been like lugging it around for years and years and didn't even have a VCR. Um, but then now we, uh, we moved recently and now we actually have the shelf space for it. So we're, we, we kind of miss it just seeing all those titles there's some good titles in there yeah i'll be honest with you including david lynch's june which i've just repurchased but which hey that's another. amazing which is i i love i'm so excited for the new dune but i also i love david lynch's too I've, I've i won't make you jealous by saying i've already seen it so i won't i won't spoil it for you yeah anyway yeah. congratulations on birds of paradise thank you i watched it this morning um it's really, really good. Really, really enjoyed it. I just wanted to ask you about your uh, first initial kind of contact with the book. And was this a book that was so good for you when you were reading it that you went back and watched it, uh, read it again? Or you had to kind of dive back into it a couple of times before you decided that this was maybe a project for you? Um, I I was sent the book and um, read it. It was it's such a um, addictive read. I probably read it in a day and I was, I've was i already started envisioning story from there that might interest me. So I wasn't something that I necessarily had to pour over multiple times. It was sort of like I read it, I got a vibe, I got the characters, I got the world and I, I was looking truthfully for just a playground that I could use as a jumping off point to explore some story that I was interested in. So it, it felt like um, a great yeah, just it, sometimes it's really nice rather than starting with a blank canvas, um, starting with a little little something there. But then, but then, luckily, I had the blessing of the author to just really run with it. So that was why that was my next question. If she gave, well, I mean, I know that they obviously get your yeah. blessings, but I know sometimes with with books, particularly in Hollywood, that they can be made, you know, taken away from the original author. Was that important for you to get the the say so of the, the author yeah. and then go off on your own kind of Definitely. path? It's much more interesting to me, not that I, I, maybe someday I would want to do a more like sort of like rigorous, faithful adaptation of a book, who knows, but at this moment in my life, I'm still very much like sort of finding my own voice as an author. And so when I'm doing an adaptation, I prefer right now at the moment to be able to take more liberties and, and kind of start to evolve it in a way um, into my own story too. So, um, and I certainly wouldn't want to do that without an author's blessing because it's it's their work to begin with. So I was I felt really um, lucky that she gave me creative freedom. Yeah, and tell tell me about shooting this one because I, I believe you shot in Budapest, which yeah. is I know a lot of different places go there. I guess because yeah. I don't know whether you get tax breaks and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. in terms of <laughs> but in terms of the look of the film, it really suits where it's set. You wouldn't you know obviously realize that's where you where you yeah. shot it. Tell me about shooting around there and shooting. Uh, is it difficult to shoot ballet? I don't know if that's because I always it sounds like a silly thing to say, but shooting sport always looks difficult. It looks like yeah. a difficult thing to bring that yeah. energy to. So I wondered what it was like to shoot something like it's ballet very, the way that you do. It's very shooting ballet is very similar to shooting action sequences or fight sequences or sports. I mean, it, it um, it's all um, it's all choreography, actually, all the, all of these things. Um, uh, and it's at the end of the day, it's about the storytelling of that moment more than it is about like the virtuosity of the the camera or the performance. So yeah, if if it's not interesting unless the character is going through something, um, otherwise action sequences can be very boring, right? For that reason, unless there's like actual character growth through the action sequence. So as a director, I was always just looking for what's the what is the emotion, what is the turning point of that scene, and then how do we support that with the choreography and and the cinema cinematic approach with the camera. And then in terms of Budapest, um, I love shooting there. I shot Hannah there um, and spent a lot of time there. So I was very familiar with Budapest and in some ways felt like a little bit of a homecoming and um, brought a, a lot of the great talented crew back in and then also felt like I kind of had a leg up locations wise of, of knowing where we might want to shoot. Um, and uh, the movie's set in, in Paris, but um, 
I think that there, Paris is Paris. There's really no, I'm sure Parisians will watch this and be horrified that we, uh, we, we called this Paris. I know there's no faking Paris, you guys. Um, I, when I, and I certainly wasn't uh, trying that. I just wanted to find the most lush, beautiful, um, uh, intricate um, uh, locations to set this in because I, I, I think it's, I want this movie to be a delicious, fun, pulpy watch that uh, is kind of like an indulgent treat to watch was what I was hoping for. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. And how how did you how did you sell it to your lead leading ladies in terms of because obviously they, it's very much a physical performance as well as a yeah. mental performance and lots of stuff going on. How did you how did you sell it to them when you pitched them the idea? Well, they were um, they were attached to this book when it was brought to me, but you know obviously then we had meetings and deciding whether we were going to afford and whether we wanted to work together. And I think the thing um, I told them like, okay, if we're going to do this this is going to challenge you like nothing else has. <laughs> like, we'll nearly break you. It's going to be that hard. But I'm going to be there with you every step of the way. And I'm going to write this adaptation specifically for you. So I really um, tailored those characters to Diana and Christine, which I think, um, you'll have to ask them, but I think is um, probably really fun for an actor because um, you know I'm really writing with their voices in mind and thinking about, as a director, writing in ways that I know can push and challenge them in ways that will help them also grow in their craft too. So I, I think, um, and I, I, I just have to say, they both really stepped up to the plate and they went from no dance training to three months of incredibly intensive dance training. Um, and not only that, but these were like emotional, um, difficult roles to play too. So they, they were stretched on both physically and emotionally. Yeah. Well, listen, Sarah, thank you so, so much for your time. Absolute pleasure talking to you. And uh, yeah, I hope the film goes really well for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!